All right, guys. So in this video, we'll solve a pair sum problem. Uh, let's say if I have an array elements four, one, two, five, three, and if I if I pass this array as an argument to a function and uh, another argument is six, right? So what I want this function to do is to return me pairs from this array. Uh, pairs of numbers from this array so that the so such that their sum is 6 so 4 plus 2 is 6 4 comma 2 is one pair and uh, 1 comma 5 1 and 5 are also 1 plus 5 is also 6 so 1 comma 5 is also a pair right so and 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 here 4 comma 2 and 2 comma 4 won't be counted as two different pairs right they are same you will count only one and same for 1 comma 5 right so i need a function where i pass pass an array and with a sum and it should return me the pairs of numbers which if i add i should get the sum right so one of the approaches which is a which is a naive approach is to is to just traverse through this array and uh, let's say the first element the first element is 4 so I should look for 2 uh, in the rest of the array and again the second element is 5 so I should look for 5 this, uh, uh, there is 2 so I should look for 4 again right so this is a pretty naive approach and uh, uh, and the and the time complexity of the of the algorithm won't be that good right so so we'll solve this with an approach where we we'll need to traverse through this only once along with that uh, I'll, I'll explain on the side like what approach we are using so I need to first define the function define here sum I pass array the sum, the sum maybe sum is a keyword, or maybe it's too long. So I'll type numbers. Yeah. So first thing is at least we need two numbers to get the sum, right? So I so the length of array should be at least greater than two, right? So but if it's less than two function will return right because to make a sum we need two numbers right now we declare two sets found two empty sets i'll explain you why right we will start with the loop so for num in array Take a variable k equals to sum r sum minus number. So, so for a uh, number in array, array we have is four, four one, two. 5k and k is equals to sum minus number uh, sum is sum we have passed as 6 right so for number in array so the first number is so it's a loop so we'll so it will first traverse through so it will traverse through it so the first element is 4 right so and the sum is 6 so k is equals to 6 minus 4 k is equals to 2 here okay if k is not sorry if k not in found found dot add This k, if k 
k is not found in uh, in the set found it should add the number it should add 4 here so k is equals to 2 it's not there in found so it will add 4 here right but if 2 was there okay we'll 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 see it with the we'll see it with the next case so let's move on to the next one next next element so uh, let's assume from here only it went back right so one k is equals to some minus number so the value will change to sum is six one uh, so six minus one five okay so five not in found five not in found right so five is not in found so found dot add number number is one right so one will be added right next it will again go back to the root two okay so again k sum minus uh, number sum is six the number is two so six minus two is four is four in the found is four is four is 4 present and found? Yes, it is present. Let's see what's else. So we'll type in else, else. So we'll type in else condition here. Output dot add. Add add what? Number comma what's the number here number is 2 and k is 6 minus 2 which is 4 2 comma 4 gets added to the output right let's move to the next 5 right so again it will come back so 6 minus 5 is 1 so is 1 present in found yes 1 is present in found so 5 will not be 5 will not be added to the found it will be added to the output as number is 5 and k is 6 minus 5 which is 1 right next is 3 3 uh, k is equals to 6 minus 3 is 3 not in found no it's not in found it will be will be we added in found right so we got our pairs 2 comma 4 and 5 comma 1 so uh, let's see if this if this actually works so when we add this pair since we are counting uh, since we are counting 5 comma 1 and 1 comma 5 as one pair not we are not counting them as two separate pairs similarly for 2 comma 4 and 4 comma 2 we are not counting them as two different pairs we are counting them as the same pair right so uh, change something here just should be minimum of num comma k with maximum of take the minimum and maximum from the pair and that will be that will be added as one one pair so if the pair let's say if the pair repeats like after two comma one you get one comma two again right since it's a set it will so so it will so it will so it will take care of that right uh, one comma two will be added as one comma two only even if you get two comma one right because we are uh, taking the minimum and maximum out of the pair right so and at last since it's a it's a set and and we need to print the pairs as string so we need to print but we also need to join them I'll pass slash n to uh, to print this in a new line and i'll join and i'll map the sets as string
is 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 output as a list. So uh, so the number of brackets are right. So let's um, let's run this. Valid syntax. Brackets were slightly misplaced because here uh, minimum of so because here minimum from num comma k will uh, will return will return only one one value so yeah that needs to be enclosed in a bracket similarly uh, for uh, same for for the max max function then uh, then you can close them in 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 brackets to uh, to add them as pairs to the set the set output right and here uh, print here here if we uh, and and here what we are doing is so that we can print uh, print this list as a string we are using a map function to map this list as a as a string type right and and then but then map will also not return you a string but it will uh, it will return you a list of strings which we so so we need a join so that that those uh, those list items can be joined uh, to to print to print them to print so so that it, so that it can be printed so that 1 comma 5 and 2 comma 4 can be Print can be printed as a one final string. Can be printed as a one final string. 